Okay, here we go. I hope it was valuable for all of you to get some feedback from people around your table as far as scripting and information. Once again, think about if you were to receive the message you want to send to other people, how would you respond to it yourself, right? If it's pitchy, would you respond to it? If it's not pitchy, would you respond to it, right? And accept the connection request. Very, very important, think about this a second. If no one accepts your connection request on LinkedIn, nothing happens afterwards. So it's really, really important that people accept your connection request on LinkedIn. Pardon me? No, no, but you can't, you can't, they're not your first connections ever. They won't see your, it, only people who are your first connections will see your content on LinkedIn, unless you're paying for sponsored content or LinkedIn ads. All right, so it's really, really important that you uh, get, build up your database of people at your first connections. So, next thing is people who send connection requests to you. Should you accept all of them, right? No, no, no. Right click on their name again, go to their profile, see who they are, and see if they're going to be valuable to you. Do they fall in the category of three or the rule of three? Yes. So, we saw window coverings, everybody's by window coverings. So, even though they might not be a full partner, there's still three potential that they might be Yeah, but, but if they're in China, are they going to accept oh, yeah. their connection request? Where do they live? Are they in Calgary, right? Are they a competitor? Are they a competitor of yours? Do they want to troll? Do they want to troll your LinkedIn profile and see what kind of stuff you're posting on a regular basis, right? So it's very, very important. I think you go to each person one at a time, right-click on their name, open Link New Tab, and see who they are before you say yes. Yeah, and there's a slide. There's a slide right there. Well, the phone works best as part of the next stage. You know, so many people uh, I find on social media marketing nowadays are afraid to pick up the phone also. So, you know, my thing is, and I always try to get people on the phone with me, even though they're not going to be my client possibly ever, I want to say hi to them, right? Because you never know. I might get someone who will refer people to me. I might get somebody who wants to do something else with me later on, past, past LinkedIn or whatever, right? So, you know, try to do that also. Um, and so, so LinkedIn, the LinkedIn rules and what they say on LinkedIn, if you Google this, they, LinkedIn says not to invite people you don't know. And how many people think that's a good idea? Right, me too. I think people, you should definitely invite people you don't know or accept people, uh, in, in people's invitations, people you don't know, because that's how you build your database. It's like going to a networking meeting and not shaking anybody's hand at all ever because you don't know them beforehand. And I hate it when I go to these networking meetings or networking events and all the people who already know each other, like huddle in these little groups, right? And I get to know people. That's why I think an event like this is so important and so great because switching tables and meeting people and introducing yourself, that's how you get to know people, right? So I when you're doing, if you're ever doing a networking event that you go to, that you're brand new to, talk to the host and say, hey, you should have people introduce themselves or people walk around the room or change areas and change groups and get to actually know people. I love meeting new people all the time. Um, and uh, you, know, you can go onto your networking pa your network page on LinkedIn and you can find people on that page, LinkedIn dot com my network and scrolling down the page you'll see and that's it's a contradictory like LinkedIn is so weird they say don't do this but they have, they'll show people you don't know on their page it's like well what are you saying us any of this you know this weird message of don't do it but here's people you can connect with you don't know them already um, so we did the exercise already uh, so we're looking to find phrases of people on LinkedIn so you know um, and then looking for the people who are, uh, you know, in your target market. Also, think about this for a second. On LinkedIn, we're doing a search as far as the key phrase like owner, right? Like business owner or realtor, right? Put in the plural and non-plural. Usually, the non-plural will give you more results. Like realtor and realtors, realtor will give you more results than realtors. So think about that also on LinkedIn. Try different variations. Went to the search already, uh, and then it said services is a brand new category. Ever have, ever, does everybody have services on their profile yet? Like I don't have it on my profile yet. I'm s it's like, what the hell, man? People, other people in Calgary have it. Why well, don't have it, right? But if you have it on there, put the services you offer. It's limited because LinkedIn has a drop-down menu of what you can actually put in there. So uh, we talked about first connections, second connections, third connections. Ha, 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 ha.
got through this already. Also, it's very, very important you follow people. Um, I talked beforehand about people who have these large networks of people on LinkedIn, and they never, ever message anybody on LinkedIn ever. So you have this great database. It's like having your own personal Rolodex on LinkedIn. Message people. Talk to people on LinkedIn. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone sometimes even and say, call them up on the phone. Just cold call them, but not in a way to pitch them, right? Pick up the phone and say, hey, uh, Jackie, you're on my LinkedIn. I've seen you. I've seen you for like the last five years. We've never ever spoken beforehand. I just wanted to call you on the phone and introduce myself. How are you doing today? Thank you very much. Appreciate that. She's great. Look at that. And then also set monthly goal growth goals. Uh, post articles often. Use images. Engage with existing connections. And promote your LinkedIn URL on other social media channels. So when I was doing this workshop, I promoted my LinkedIn posts and things on LinkedIn on Facebook. I posted on Twitter. And when you're doing a LinkedIn article, you have the uh, option at the very, very end. It says share to. And I think uh, Twitter and uh, not Facebook comes up, but Twitter comes up, LinkedIn comes up. Oh, no, Facebook comes up, Twitter comes up, and LinkedIn comes up as far as you can share things too. So, and then for, uh, you know, for uh, sharing for Facebook, once you have the Facebook share box open, you can share it on your personal profile, share it on a group, share it on a, your, your company page. So, you know, you want to get that content out there. It's very, very important. So, let me ask you, are you using generate, LinkedIn to generate leads right now? Yes or no? Anybody on there actually doing aggressive LinkedIn lead generation or marketing? So only a few of you, right? So once again, I said beforehand, nine, if we took all people in here, I bet you any money, it's like maybe one or 2%. So 99.9% .9 of businesses and companies and people on LinkedIn are doing nothing. And that's fantastic news for us over here in the room today because we do that stuff on LinkedIn as far as marketing and lead generation or to be far ahead of everybody else. It's really great. Um, so you want to have a defined strategy on paper to determine everything else. Uh, we'll also talk about political, politics and religion dating on LinkedIn. Should we worry about discrimination? Should I have volunteer work, changing careers, thanking people for endorsement recommendations, how to request endorsement recommendation, and can I simply copy and paste my resume? So uh, go to page 40 in your manual. I want to do one more exercise before I take a break. And on page 40, we're going to think about this. this. This won't be a group share at all, but I want you to think about this. I want you to think about what is my strategy on LinkedIn? Why am I on there? What do I want to accomplish on LinkedIn in the next 12 months? I want to simply grow my network by 1,000. I want to get five or 10 new customers. And think about that, you know? And think about, and think about backwards. I want to get 10 new customers on LinkedIn in the next 30 days. So work backwards. On day 29, what are you doing? On day 28, what are you doing? Day 27, what are you doing, right? So you want to be able to get a strategy where you're posting content on LinkedIn on a regular basis and reaching out to people on LinkedIn for new connections and talking to your existing connections on LinkedIn. So think about that from on LinkedIn as far as a strategic mindset. What are your goals on LinkedIn in the next, let's say, 12 months? Go ahead. <laughs> 